<laughs> All right, new project today. So we are working on a, some call it a spin barrel. Some call it a drop barrel or a drop bowl. Um, so it's a device that uh, you can use to train for bull riding. And so that's what I'm working on. And uh, we'll be able to uh, make this so that uh, small people and then large people can also ride on it. Right now I'm working on the base. I got some, uh, some metal here, got some square tubing. Uh, and uh, we're gonna start cutting it up and making it so that uh, we can build the base. And then once the base is done, then we'll get the barrel and uh, put all the barrel together. And anyways, you'll uh, be along with that. That'll be a, this is gonna be a great little project. So here we go. All right, so I have four pieces of well, one inch stock right here, eighth inch thick. And all of it's cut to, these pieces are cut to two and a half feet. And the intention is, the intention is that uh, this piece here, which uh, I forget what size this was, I think this was a inch and a half. Anyway, so this piece here allows this one inch piece to fit inside of it. This is going to be the legs, so the there'll be four of these uh, coming out, and if they want, then they can pull out the cotter pins be able to pull these legs out and be able to break it down just a bit to be able to transport it if they want. So that's what I'm cutting uh, cutting up now. This piece here, I'm gonna cut this up into four pieces, four equal pieces. This is, So this piece here is four feet long and uh, we're gonna cut this up into one foot lengths. So we'll be able to have uh, four pieces and the, these four legs will be able to slide in there and have the cotter pin hold them in. So here we go. All right, here you can see I got the pieces cut. So these inch and a quarter pieces here. And these are gonna be the legs for the base. So I got me uh, this uh, square piece here. This is six inches by six inches. And it's just uh, an eighth inch uh, piece of flat metal. So right here in the middle is gonna get a round tube that is gonna sit up inside uh, a bigger tube and that will allow it to be able to rotate back and forth. All right, so I uh, used the grinder to clean the area up. Had a lot of splatters. Uh, I'm just using a flux core um, type of MIG weld, and so it. Uh, and I don't have all the di all uh, the settings dialed in because this is the first time I've welded since high school. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put another bead around there to uh, make it uh, stronger and uh, ensure that uh, it doesn't pop or break.
Don't get the nozzle too far away. I think I did okay. Yep, it does look kind of clumpy. It's the first time I did it. Yep. That was cool. Well, have fun. Thanks, kid. Don't burn yourself. That would be bad. No, it's always, always bad when you burn yourself. Update on the spin barrel. We have got quite a bit done. This piece here is the piece that everything's going to rotate on. So it uh, comes off, right? And so the, this uh, piece here is a, a two inch pipe right here. This on uh, here, I don't know, it's like an inch and a half or inch and three quarters. I don't know, whatever it is. I just got them so they slid together. This piece here is uh, ready for the spring though. So if I, so the spring, we're gonna have the big spring right here. Gonna weld that to it. And then these pieces here, you just uh, need the cotter pins so that they stay in. But the uh, cotter pins, you'll be able to pull out and then these uh, legs will be able to come out as well. So it'll make it a little easier to move around. So the welds are not the best, uh, you know, but uh, I think they're pretty strong. I did much better on this one here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm, I'm not using, uh, I'm using like a, a flux core. So there's a lot of splattering. It's not very clean. All right, we're working on the second part of this. So I got a spring and trying to figure out how to make the spring not cricket on here. You know, so uh, if, if you've seen the springs, they're just not, they're just not flat on the top. So I'm trying to use these magnets here to hold it up at a 90 degrees. So I can be able to weld the bottom along here. And, uh, and that's some pretty thick metal there. So hopefully I can uh, <clears throat> do most of the weld or the bead along here and just touch down into here to be able to uh, capture that eighth inch piece there so I'll do a few and see how it goes and uh, then I'll show you how it turned out I drilled out the um, pieces here for the cotter pins to go in. So I got four cotter pins. They're just pins that you would use on a trailer. And I just drilled out. So now these legs are fixed on here pretty good. Got just four of them on there and uh, they work really good. So <clears throat> this piece is actually looking pretty good. Uh, pretty uh, close to being done. 
I just need to paint it and I think that this piece will be uh, complete. So uh, when I get to the painting part, that's what we're going to do. update we started painting things so we got uh, the legs here that we started painting black the spring we're gonna paint red just because i thought it was cool and then everything else is black the barrel of course uh we're gonna paint the uh, the little pieces in here so they don't rust but on the outside here we're gonna put some carpet and i need to get uh, more uh, steel tubing to be able to connect the barrel to the spring so that's uh 
probably pick it up tomorrow and then we'll start putting this together. Play, man's play. Okay. 
it gets pretty high. Look at that thing. Yee-haw! All right, just want to give you an update. Done a few things, didn't uh, film them, but uh, so uh, put more supports inside here so that uh, we got the up and down support so that it doesn't cave in when, uh, when they're sitting on it. Uh, put the welds here and, and then down at the front also. I didn't weld the whole thing. So I don't think you need to do that. Just got welds on both sides. Um, but, so this is pretty rigid. This is this is not <laughs> this is not going anywhere. This is not changing shape. It is the way that it is. Uh, you can see that I left kind of a gap right here. So uh, what I need to do is I need to just kind of carve out a bit of this so that uh, it doesn't hit the pipe. Um, I want it to hit the ground before it hits the pipe. And right now it's hitting the pipe first. So I'm just gonna. Uh, take out just a little bit a couple inches here and then taper it uh, taper it back also uh, I've uh, I put little cuts here and then uh, bent it and re-welded them so this is pretty good here but now I'm working on the springs and so I got this uh, piece of uh, one inch square tube that I welded here that uh, so when this piece moves the top piece moves the bottom piece doesn't move this piece moves with this top piece so working on the springs i got some springs here garage door springs and it's just going to uh attach right it's going to attach right there and then it's going to come up to this handle right there so this handle may be too far away i may i may have to cut it and uh put this piece up here i don't know still figuring it out Still trying to figure out uh, all the different blanks and you know not not having uh, blueprints or anything just uh, just figuring it out and so far it's been working pretty good uh, this spring here has worked real well and um, I'm hoping that once I get these garage door springs on here that uh, it'll really be able to um, hold the weight necessary when someone's on the barrel so and then the individual on the barrel can just do it themselves or someone else can come over here and hold on to the handle and move it up and down and twist it around and stuff. So, all right, uh, today we're putting springs on and painting, I guess. Uh, would like to get some carpet on here so that it's not just a barrel, that it's, uh, you know, got some carpet, but I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I want to get that carpet, what kind of carpet, you know. I mean, it's going to be outside all the time. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the best uh, case scenario. So, all right, here we go. All right, so I got the springs on, and they actually look pretty good. But the problem is, is uh, two of the springs I bought from a different store so they are reacting differently so i need to return those and get 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 these right here these are more stiff so i'm gonna go get instead of the 140 pound ones i'm gonna go get 160. so i got a right now i got 140 i'm gonna add 160 uh two 160s on here as well we'll see what that does for my uh my body um and then I might even make it so that you can put a weight on here, you know, a counter counterbalance, but I don't know. Besides that, besides, uh, you know, changing, changing out the springs, uh, we got a little painting to do. And then the carpet, carpet for the barrel. I jumped on that barrel and, uh, man, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of carpet would be good. Plus you slip all around on that, you know, in a bowl. Then you don't slip around on... I don't know. Maybe you do slip around on a bull. I never been on one.
So we decided that instead of carpet, we're going to use this uh, this cloth here. This is a uh, it's a it's a blanket that's used for packing. So a packing blanket, moving blanket. It's pretty tough. Just a recycled thing. They liked it because of the different colors that we got here. So you can see just uh, all the just the different colors that are all over it. They thought that was cool, so uh, they want to glue that on there. So that's what we're working on right now. Alright. So this needs to go back towards you. Pull it back towards you. Up to there. And then this one is going to run up to there. I don't want to make all this sticky. I want to make this side sticky. Alright. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. I'm recording. <laughs> recording. Me yeah. falling on my rear. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not easy to get on. You need a uh, a step slider. A bigger step ladder. There's one in the laundry room. Once again, the guy with the bad back. Need to get on here. Oh, look, it's starting to rain. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, it's starting to come down real hard. Yeah. Dang. You need to make a second one and rent it. You know, we're just off the ride from the front yard. Somebody else said you should do another one and then rent it out. Well, I don't hear you saying yee-haw or anything. All right, update. So we had to fix the legs. They were flexing too much. So I went ahead and the uh, little one-inch pieces that were down here that were slipping into these pieces, I just welded those uh, into there. So, and then I got a inch and a quarter piece slipped it over top and now i've welded these uh, pieces uh, together so it's all one big unit so this inch and a quarter piece that's welded here all the way to here has that uh, one inch piece in it as well um, then we also are painting it so this is the snorting long john and then uh, i still have the rest of the black to paint also so I'll give you a view of uh, the finished product and uh, then of course uh, it'll be done then. It'll look good. <laughs> All right, update on the uh, drop bowl here. Here it is. Final product. It's all painted up. We've got the springs. We've got the inside that's all red and it's looking pretty good we put holes down here on uh oops where am i pointing on each of the ends here so that we can uh, drive a uh spike in there also got a hole down here in the middle uh so we can drive one in there as well and uh, yeah it works really good um and i'm excited for him to start training on it yeah snorting long john <laughs>